This is a Durham ox, and the great Durham ox was exhibited in 1747, and uh, it was the first scientifically bred ox. And by the 1790s here in America, this is the fad. This is the in kind of ox to have. All right, and so uh, this is a a good choice for a wagon coming west, particularly good for a freighter. They're fast. They're strong. They're intelligent. Um, they make wonderful work animals. Um, what I really like about them, of course, is that I can talk to them and get things done. Now, you're going to notice here that I've got one new ox this year, and uh, he's just learning, and the others are teaching him. And that's part of the fun of, of oxen is that they they teach each other. They're, they, they share a lot, but they're very affectionate animals amongst themselves. They're gentle, hardworking. Um, they have a language about... I've found about 30 words that you can use, they use. Um, we communicate fairly well, but you're watching your animals constantly. If you're working the animals, you just never take your eyes off of them. Um, you can't carry on a conversation with anyone else. You, you just basically are, are locked into the animals till you, you put them away again. I know I love you too, boy. <clears throat> so that, that, that uh, oxen become a way of life rather than just a tool. Uh, people who are good with them, handle them that way. And uh, I've known some very good ox drivers. I've seen some real terrible things with them. We carry a whip. The animals are never touched with a whip. You just don't do that. Um, that that uh, If they didn't trust you, I mean, I've got four tons of animals when I'm working this team. You know, if they didn't trust me, I couldn't get anything done. So this, this is what you're seeing when we go to work with them. What we laughingly say, but it's really the truth, is we are a herd, us and them, all together, and they act like we're part of it. Uh, and I'm just the dominant animal. The great unsung hero of American history is the ox. There were more oxen in this country until the 1870s than there were horses. Um, they, they were the biggest mover. I mean, like, in each of our wars, they didn't want to use the oxen because they're so slow but they always ended up having to do it because they just didn't have enough horses and mules, okay? And so um, they are, are a, uh, a delightful animal to work with, hardworking, loyal. I mean, they'll kill themselves for you, you know, th things that a mule would never do. Um, so, yeah, there's an awful lot nice about them. 